the day you guys have all been waiting for. We are officially starting the breeding process. End of his new home. Yeah. Let's see how Aries reacts with this guy. They're meeting. They're meeting. What's going on, Barb's? You guys buzzing? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are buzzing. I just want to. I just want to know. All right. I just want to know. Anyways, welcome to the channel. Barb's buzzing. We're always buzzing. We're having a good time. All right. We do crazy stuff on this channel. All right. So you're gonna want to hit the subscribe button. Stay updated with everything that we do. We have a tank room coming that is gonna blow your guys' minds. I cannot wait for that. If you're new here, my name is Chris. Welcome to the channel. We appreciate you, and we'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. We want to blow this channel up, take it to the next level. So go ahead, hit that red button, turn that post notification bell on so you never miss a video, and uh, so you stay updated with everything that we're doing. But in today's video, we are doing the beta breeding. We are step one of the beta breeding is putting her in the tank with the male and um, in a clear a clear jar so that he can see her and the whole process can start they can get used to each other so that's what we're doing today and you guys will see how it goes along we're going to want to wait till the end of the video to see exactly how aries reacts because it's pretty it's pretty funny we are officially starting the process so i'm excited you guys should be excited and uh hopefully we'll get some babies soon and we'll see you guys will see them very soon but that is what we're doing in today's video so uh let's hop right into it and get these betas breeding all right guys first things first in order to get this tank set up obviously you gotta clean it because it is quite dirty so uh aries knows what's good that's gonna be his new home for like a couple about a week or so so first things first gotta clean this tank and it's gonna be spotless about now clean tank ready for breeding now let's get this guy filled up with water and get it ready and get started with this whole process the day you guys have all been waiting for we are officially starting to set up the breeder tank right there with Aries tonight we are going to fill this thing up with water put the heater on put the plants the live plants we have now so the betas have a, a place to hide from one another and uh, we're gonna put the female beta in tonight or yeah the male beta Aries in tonight so you're supposed to leave your male in there for one whole day just so he can claim his territory and be able to make a bubble's nest when uh, the female is put into here so what we're gonna have to do first Fill up this five gallon bucket with some water. All right, that should do it. And uh, so now that we got this full with like some probably close to 80 degree water, ugh, let's bring this thing over to the tank, pour this bucket in. We're probably only gonna fill it to probably about like half. Really? Yeah, because I don't, this prep bucket will probably do it. All the videos that I've watched researching all this, they only have their tank half full, so. Probably like four gallons. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit more. We'll fill this thing up probably halfway. Pour that bad boy in there, fill her up. I there think we go. Do it. Huh? I think that'll do yeah, it. that'll do it for sure. Alright, so we have this half full. This way, if the beta fish do try to jump out of here, they obviously don't have the power or strength to jump all the way out. We got we're gonna dechlorinate and pH down. But I'm also gonna take good amount of this water put in there that's already pre-cycled and that way it'll help this tank cycle a little bit quicker but let's pH down some prime and then we'll do like six drops or seven seven two three four five six seven perfect seven drops of pH down that should bring it to right about a 7.2 pH and uh, let's see if we can get some Dechlorinator out of this. This is five milliliters and it does 50 gallons and I probably only filled it half full So this is gonna do 25 gallons, which is more than enough So we'll throw that in there and this water just got dechlorinated immediately now I've got some live plants that were in there before Chris cleaned it out and they're right over here This will give the female beta fish a place to hide when uh, the male is trying to do his thing with her So she doesn't get overtired or stress out and end up passing away this way she can hide in some shrubs, but maybe we'll take two of these plants out of there, throw them in there, but I think that's probably more than enough. Hey guys, I'm just gonna take the uh, temperature of this tank to see what it's at, because it should be right around about 80 to 82 degrees for this beta fish, and we're looking to be right around 79 degrees, I would say. All right, 79 degrees we got it at right now. Let's go ahead, put our heater in here. Make sure you guys acclimate your heaters. As funny as it sounds, if you go ahead and put this in, Water that's about like, you people up north probably have like 60 degree water, 50 degree water that comes right out of your hose. If you go ahead and turn this thing on, you have it set to 80 degrees, this thing will literally just shatter. 
I've heard plenty of stories of it. So we're gonna let our heater acclimate for probably 15 minutes before we go ahead and plug it in just so we cover any mistakes just in case this thing might actually shatter on us which I highly doubt because this water is pretty much 79 degrees and we only have it set to 80 so just quick 15 minutes we'll get back to you guys turn on the heater and uh, this water has been dechlorinated pH down all the above and is ready I'm gonna take a little bit of this water out probably this is a 2.5 I'll probably take a gallon of it out put it in here this way there's some cycled water and uh, we'll be putting Aries in here in just a minute it's time we just turn on the heater See if that little orange dot's on. Yep, that's how you know if your heater's working. And this is gonna heat up. I'm gonna be putting beautiful Aries in there. Yeah, he's gonna be definitely producing some beautiful babies. And uh, beta food, baby food. So that is many. all vinegar eels. That is the literally the grossest thing ever. And my closet is starting to smell like vinegar. Yes. So we need to get these things out ASAP because my room, it doesn't smell. Like I gotta keep the closet door closed. I mean, it's not like a, a reeking overwhelming when I got the fan on we got AC but gotta do what you gotta do for these betas and uh, in just a second we'll be putting Aries in we just took out some water I don't want to put too much water in here because we are gonna have to put it like a mason jar we're gonna go ahead and net out Aries really quick with our miniature net with our little net little beta net oh yeah he's got that all day he's gonna be kind of sad he likes his home he likes his home Blue net, blue beta. Perfect. Come on, buddy. Come on, there buddy. There you go, buddy. Other way, buddy. Other way. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. perfect. <laughs> End of his new home. Yeah. He's probably going to come up here and roll. Oh, no, he's going to venture down. Sweet. So he's in here. We're going to leave him in here for one day. And then tomorrow morning when I'm at school, you guys will be seeing Chris put in the female beta fish, so we'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. All right guys, it's currently the next day. Aries is very comfortable in his home. The temperature is just right, we got the plants in there. And now it is time to put the female in. So what we're gonna do, since this will not stick out of the water enough, we're gonna put this in and then put this on top of it so that she has air to breathe and she can go in there. And this is a nice clear glass that Aries, Aries can see her. And then eventually that'll trigger like you know, his instincts or whatever, he'll start making a bubble nest. And in the next couple of days, we'll see how he reacts and how everything plays out. But for now, we're going to put her in there. So I'm just going to put this in really quick. Just in there on the bottom. So we have like a little base. Alright, okay. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to fill it up. There we go. Okay. That is perfect. Look, you can, if you guys look down there, that he can see right through that glass and he'll be able to see her right when we put her in. So now let's get the female and put her in here because that's it, we're done. We got the tank set up, now they gotta see each other and the process will be moving forward. Now I hope our female is a little bit bigger, so I hope that it, everything works out fine, but obviously we're here to document it and show you guys how it works. We're gonna try it with this beta, with this female, the, a little bit bigger to see what happens. I think the babies would look really cool, but. If not, maybe we'll try a different female, but for now, we got them both bulked up with tilapia and everything. They're, they're eating really well, so I'm gonna put her in here and see how he reacts. So we did the temperatures, the water's the exact same, and uh, she can just go right in this water right here. So I'm gonna get her right now and put her in the jar. Now she is a big girl, so Aries is gonna have to, you know, get ready for this. Just like that, she's frisky. Go. She's officially in her bowl. Nice. Okay. Let's see how Aries reacts when we put this guy in there. Here she goes. She's gonna go in there right there. Now she's there. She's got air. She's got perfect amount of air. This is almost like the perfect jar. So she's gonna stay in there for a little while. All right. So here he just sees her now. So now he's gonna go, you know, investigate, you know, a little bit, get a little flared. This is what we want. We want him to see her to know she's there, to, to, for him to get a little comfortable so that when we uh, take the jar away, he's not super aggressive. So we want him to start forming a bubble nest now and to really get in the mood for some breeding, baby. We'll keep you guys really updated on this because this is a delicate process and we want to really show you guys, look, he's like going up to the tank. They're meeting each other, baby. Yes, they're meeting. Okay, all right, Aries is getting flared. As you can see, he's getting his, uh, his fins all up. 
and big, looking big. And I think he's ready, honestly. I think he's ready. She's only gonna be in there until she make he makes his bubble nest and until we think he's ready. And then we're gonna let her into the tank and let the process go. But she looks very comfortable in there and everything. And we're gonna see how they react to each other. We're gonna leave them alone for a second. With that being said, that is it for today's video. We are officially starting the breeding process. This is step one, putting them in the tank. And um, we got the vinegar eels ready. We got everything planned for, for if they breed and if there's babies. I know it is, is a difficult process to do, but we're gonna try our best and see if it works. But that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, smash that bell, because we are almost at 15K and we will be building the tank room. I cannot wait to build it. You're gonna have some big tanks in there and maybe some beta fish, right? We already have some stuff in the works for Christmas, so uh, we got some plans, guys. We got some plans, but we're, not, we're only gonna do it if you guys support us, hit the subscribe button, and it's gonna get done. But that is it for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.